we're talking about Portnoy. Yeah, Dave El Pres Portnoy. Dave Portnoy, El Presidente, uh, for Barstool Sports. On top of this amazing troll of Collar Daddy Girls, <laughs> he recently, so he was banned from the NFL um, a long time ago. He was, like, talking shit, and they, like, took away his press, press pass and banned Barstool from NFL, any NFL event by really? Roger Goodell, which is the commissioner or whatever. Yeah. And recently, I think last week or the week before, he, uh, Roger Goodell had done, like, you know, they're like challenging celebrities to give money and they win certain things, right? Mm -hmm. So other celebrities are like challenging other people to give money. Yeah. So he was auctioning off. You can watch the, uh, watch a game, watch the first NFL football game with him in his basement alone. That's what you win. Oh, like if you give a certain amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, you could sit with Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the oh. NFL. Oh, got it. Him with and Roger. Dave Portnoy hate him, hate each other. Oh. Guess who bid the most money? Dave. And won and was just like. Purposely? Yeah. I was like, guess what? Guess we're going to be coming. sitting alone in a, in a fucking basement watching football. And Roger Goodell at some point has to like have a sense of humor. Sure. About it because like. You got me, motherfucker. But let's like, be also let's he be paid, real too. Like, like he, he I mean, he gave a bunch of money. That's what the purpose was for. Was right. for to help these people. Right. But that's the kind of shit that he does. Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, you cross him, you it. ban him from something. He will find, and it's years down the line too. Like it's been a couple of years, and he finally was like, "So that's what I'm saying." He sits on it. He's he holds grudges. He's a funny douche, and it's funny when you're not on the receiving end. Like right now, I think all this shit is hilarious. With but it sounds call like, her daddy, yeah. And I don't blame him for being. Well, we talked about it earlier. I don't blame him for being pissed because literally these chicks were like, "Yeah, I'm not coming to work anymore. Like I'm not doing podcasts." And he's like, "We have a three year contract. Are you fucking kidding me?" And he's been losing money. And I, there was a couple. Um, People saying like, dude, he's savage. And he already came out with clothing, like cancel suit man. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. He needs his money back. He needs to make money. Like he has not made money for what, since April 8th? And he's a funny dude. Barstool is a f really funny, douchey platform. Anytime that just, you see like, any of their stuff and their page, like, you know what I mean? That's what it's expected. It's very on brand. It's not like he's doing anything that Different. he's never done before. No. These girls are the only ones that like didn't realize what they were getting into which doesn't make any sense because you would think after working with him for at least a year you would know already yeah like i knew what i was getting into when i married ross you know what i mean <laughs> like i can't now be like hey man what a little bit of a dick right <laughs> like i was a dick before i'm gonna be a dick, dick again now? yeah Do you know what i mean like Correct. that same kind of thing of like i handle stuff like this i get pissed about this stuff and this is what i'm gonna do if you cross me like, yeah and the fact that they're just like, it sounds like with him, pretty much to stay on his good side. Yeah. You just well, gotta you know, be honest. Like, do your fucking job. You gotta do business. He in, left like, them alone. You know what you say? Do your business. Be an adult. Be a good person. Don't fucking lie. Don't be fucking shady. He said, "Ask for what you want." Correct. Be a well. Be an adult. That's I be mean, a that's adult. that's as simple. Don't as be you a twenty-seven-year-old little dingling. I mean, most twenty-seven-year-olds aren't that dinglinged up yeah like, they're you know I mean? especially like, dingling because yeah. they really <laughs> fucked up like come such on. a good thing uh yeah, and everyone's talking about that too it's it doesn't yeah it's so simple you know it's i so think simple. it's i think it's hilarious i think it's hilarious and this is a story that will be um i mean we'll have to do updates every once in a while on it because i don't know what's happening i they have yet to put out another show well you're not even talking we about don't know too, what's happening that they have a chance right now to really kind of fix this, the girls, right? If they were to come Very together small window. right now and get together on the podcast and be like, listen, Sophia is like, cancel fucking suit, man. I'm fucking done with that bitch. He got in the way between Alex and I, and I really believed it. And I'm so sorry, daddies. I know it's going to take you a while to for fucking forgive me. And then Alex is like, hey, and they reconciled and they just like restart it back up where, you know, back where it kind of came from and try to redeem themselves and maybe, but is, I feel like the longer this t takes and is drawn out that the more and more people are going to be like, fuck them or this brings to up, rebuild back up. This to brings new. up an interesting question bigger question of like is there anything that someone can do 
that's just too much. Like, I think breaking up, like breaking up a marriage, uh, and this, like this kind of going behind each other's backs and fucking each other over with that much money on the line and that much of a career ahead of you. Is it possible that that is like unforgivable? This isn't as of right now, from what I read, it doesn't seem like it's the ultimate betrayal yet. Right. Because it doesn't seem like there's that much information out. There's speculation saying that, you know, you thought the two girls were really good friends. But it seems like now that they're arguing about money and who has the best talent, and who actually pulled more weight. But they don't know. Right. Here's, so here's the thing is yeah. the girls can come out and try to sit there and say, listen, let's tell you guys a real story. Now. Right. We were afraid to do it because fucking Quagmire slash Lord Farquaad lookalike was telling me not to. Um, and fuck him now because I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like because I this, messed something up that was this really epiphany. Good. Like admit your fucking wrongs, like take your, you know, your lashings. It's probably going to take a little bit to build it, but back up to where it was before, but at least like, you know, try to put a bandaid on it now. Cause right now it's just bleeding out like crazy. And the more you keep blending and ble bleed out, eventually it's just going to fucking die. I guess they would have to dispute the, um, the thing that he said on the daddy speaks of Sophia was going to be, you know, did her deal or whatever. And Alex went True. to Dave separately it and said, Hey, like, yeah. and now she has a deal by herself. I know. Um, that excludes Sophia. Yeah. So it seems like it's done already, I but definitely, I don't know. I still even hang out with, not hang out with people, but I still have people in my life that, have ultimately like to me just committed those kinds of sins especially when i have yeah especially when i have a family a business kids like if you come for my career or try and fuck me over in any way or fuck with that mm -hmm. you're done oh i'm the same way so and so I maybe have, yeah. you think alex just has that mindset right now like listen i did everything i could for you i stuck my neck out on the line for you obviously this wasn't enough and now you came over to fuck me and now you said you want to sue me is that what you're saying yeah so i mean yeah maybe i mean if i was alex and if i knew the whole story i i mean you know you want to take my job away from me something i was getting paid half a million a year for like literally we had like the best job on the planet you could possibly the best fucking job think of. on the planet. We at least would have been making fucking bank for three and years. And now you want to sit here and, we and throw out who did what? Up. Yeah. You know? So we have people and you know who they are that like, I'm not going to kill them. I'm not going to like but never when, talk to them again. But they are as far as like, they're just completely dead to me in that way. I mean, KGB is one of them. Well, yeah, when someone comes after your livelihood, which then affects you and your family and, you know, the opportunity to provide for them and your, you know. Because you could fuck your shit. livelihood. You could fuck shit up with that. Yeah. If you try and fuck with someone's business when they. Um, when they have like a family, when they have kids, like it's just so hard to fucking recover from that shit. I agree. Like you're just holding shit together at that point and w doing stuff like that with blatant disregard just because you don't have that correct um i've actually been seeing that sadly a lot more lately if of course it's gonna hurt more coming from someone that like you were close to and that you thought you could trust yeah rather than just like some fucking internet trolls you know yeah. or like people who are in your community and trying mm -hmm. to take you down but i've actually sadly been seeing that a lot where like even veteran companies will start up right mm -hmm. or just small businesses have been trying to start and survive through this whole corona thing mm -hmm. and like you'll have a couple of people who just like don't like this individual for some reason sure and then they go to attack them and attack them attack them to the point to where like literally i've seen business pages taken down because so many people attack them from like a fucking troll page that everyone went at them like in a veteran community or something mm -hmm. and i'm just like dude that was uh, you don't know if like that's their only job that they have now and that's their livelihood to provide for their family which it seems like it is and now because they were trolled so hard they had to take they took down their page like literally cannot be found um and they're trying to like stay afloat during this time it, i don't know yeah 
to me, I feel like there's a line that should not be crossed. And I feel like that crosses it. Yeah. So for me, I don't care whether it's, you know each other or not, but to me, if you know someone and you're friends, right. Which I I guess it's now that terms used loosely because you would never fuck over your friend like that. Then that's even more personal. It's like, you know, my life, you know, my kids, you know, my family, why would you do this to them? So where I'm at now, I've tried a couple different ways of like, hey, yeah, we're friends. I mean, I know you've probably done business or been in business or done things with people where you're like, they would never. Yeah. They would never. And they end up doing it. Doing it. So the only thing in my life that's like keeps friends friends and keeps things like on the up and up is contracts. The only thing I fucking believe in at this point, as sad as that is, is a fucking contract. Same. I've I've noticed that. (laughs) Like, and it keeps like, it keeps people in check. It keeps it, it so that you can be friends because as there's much as no you, way. As much as you want and hope that the handshake deal, right? Because you're friends. I'll tell you this. I've noticed in the past, even working with companies, that I thought like I was really good friend, like great friends with the owner, like owners, like best friends. They were always coming over my house. We we're always hanging out. I mean, if we didn't have a contract for something, I was getting fucked over left and right. Like, I mean, majorly. Yep. And screwed over. And th- you know, then to come to find out there was like loopholes in the contract. And like, once I left and, you know, I was just like, this is a, the biggest slap in the face. Like, cause I thought we were yeah, friends. Cause it doesn't even have to be that. It could be the wife of, or the husband of like, and then you get divorced and then that person tries to take. So like, yeah, it's oh, not yeah, necessarily absolutely. even that friends. person, but like, be- if I could give any piece of advice to anyone out there that's like starting a small business or going into business with someone or a friend or like you and a friend are going to do stuff together, like just go. You and a husband, you know, spouse, same thing. Just have go a ahead and get a contract. Uh, it's almost like a prenup thing. Like you never want something to go bad, but this just prevents it mm-hmm. and it keeps everybody on the up and up. It holds like, people accountable when people want to get smiteful. And fucking just douchey and douchey or someone that they're dating gets in their fucking head or their husband or wife or mom or whoever. And they can't work on threats being like, I will take this away from you. It's like, well, you can't because we have a contract. Right. Right. You can't use that leverage or the upper hand part. I mean, you literally have a contract. That's literally why marriage like there's a contract. Correct. Because otherwise you'd be like, fuck you. I'm out of here. It's like. No, all the time we can fight we can do all this stuff but, but if you, you can't really, really want to leave. leave you're gonna have to go to court you're gonna have to deal with a lawyers lot of loopholes. And it keeps people from doing shit that they will regret later Correct. because a lot of the times they do yeah but you know Sophia's gonna regret this down sure, the line she's... when she's 40 she's gonna be sitting there like my god I could have fucking had the most successful literally in three years yeah. if I just stayed with it for three years I could have owned the most successful female podcast podcast or otherwise ever ever Mm -hmm. for what some guy i used to date i'm probably not even married to him now whatever she's running on very quick-witted emotions right now right where i feel greed well and greed but i feel like he has an emotional hold on Mm -hmm. her or something, right? Where he's and convincing her all these things and making her believe all this stuff. And she is so just emotionally involved and tied into him that she believes him and she's willing to neglect and yeah. fucking forsake everyone around her that's done nothing but good things to her. What, for Dick? Which I hope to God it's not some fucking mediocre, like, you know, like micro penis dick. Like, I hope it's good at least for her if she's gonna sacrifice an entire fucking career for this. Like, really? There's no way it can be. Guy looked like that. I mean, he's like got that. a guy who looks like that has to make up for it somewhere, yes. where, right? But, but still, it's it's sad. And, and we don't know. Thing. I don't know if if she asked him to do it. Like, I don't know. But it doesn't feel like something that a girl in that position would ask their boyfriend to do. Like, hey, can you fuck up my whole career real quick? She like, seems to be. She seemed to have been very like, um, taken by him. You know what I mean? Like, he's always been like, oh, suit man, suit man, like the guy, kind of. So I'm sure, you know, I don't know. Who fucking knows? But thank God for contracts, because that's the thing, too, that doesn't make, you know, where Dave can sit there and be like, hey, we got a three-year contract. Oh, you're not here. You're not working. Yeah. You can say all you want. You can sue all you want. Like, 
You left. Technically, he could be suing them because you and were you supposed were to be shopping working. a fucking show that I owned. You yeah. were shopping something. Like, you were trying to sell something that was mine. Correct. Like, okay. Do you understand how that works? Like, I just. Oh. I know. Oh. Oh. Anyways, let's get into some little Bachelor news. No, The Bachelor is yeah. not on. We're not going to go on. Well, there's listen to your badge, but. <laughs> listen to your, your badge. badge. <laughs> listen to your badge that's how they song that's how they sing it's yeah like, so you've seen this i have not because to me personally i feel like this would be a waste of my time and so let me hear from the, here they're in the mansion it there it's chris hansen you know they hansen right harrison chris oh harrison God, harrison um I d- Chris Hansen. Hey, it's Chris Hansen of Dateline NBC. Oh, yeah, not him. No. You're on that Catch a Predator. Great. That would be awesome. Oh, my gosh. Do a Catch a <laughs> Predator Bachelor. Hang on. I watched that show. That would be an underage I thing. I watched <laughs> Catch a doing. Predator all the time. Oh, dude. The all iced the tea? fucking time. It's always iced tea. <laughs> right? Do you want some iced tea? You want some ice- Or lemonade. Do you want some lemonade? Do you want some tea? And he's like, and why do you have laundry. a string of condoms? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and like, why do you have ro- the scariest ones? Were like, why do you have rope and duct tape? Yeah, and like yeah, all the yeah, stuff yeah, in your yeah. trunk, and it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, oh, I was just here to when they like stumble out back and like fall on the grass. The ones they, that like, are fun, it's like when they start to run, and you're like, run, 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 and, like yeah, you yeah. know they're gonna get taken down. Yeah, creepy. Oh, to catch a predator was I know. such a good show. Probably wouldn't work right now, no. but <laughs> so basically, it's um a singing bachelor in paradise so they have to couple off in order to get a rose the judges are like jason mraz what they have judges yeah so they have judges for the singing part there's a couple different layers to this but basically they need to couple off then they work on a duet then they perform it on stage in front of different people so like other bachelor like Bat- winning bachelors and bachelorettes and then Kesha, Jason Mraz and then like a guest singer sometimes. I personally feel like those singer judges are probably hurting their career if they're on this show. No? Oh, there's lots of memes of like Kesha being like, I need to talk to my fucking <laughs> agent. <laughs> this is crazy. I don't know what like, cause she hasn't really they been were, out and about much. No, I haven't heard of Jason Mraz in forever. Right. Kesha hasn't really come out with much. She's no. on TikTok, TikTok now, and she kind of reminds me of a watered-down Britney Spears. Oh, a little bit crazy like this? Mm-hmm. A little. Mm-hmm. Just kind of out of it, a little. Yeah. So part of me is like, definitely been man, through you're it, hurting. For sure. Then. For a gig. Yeah. It's very, the whole show is very fucking strange. And then they have to judge them on, like, how well their chemistry was, how well they sang together. Oh. Um. And none of them can sing. They all were like people that <laughs> did real. They were like the people that you see in karaoke that like really go for it. Oh, and they have that like one song that where they, they should do. have stayed good in that one stayed song in, in karaoke. karaoke and been like really impressive in karaoke. I think it's happened to us at that one place that we've done yeah. karaoke at. Where like there's the the guy that has that one, one song, song and you're like oh my he gosh fucking crushes good. yeah. But everything else you're like oh. meh. So that's kind of what it is where you're like they're okay um but it was really supposed to fill the bachelor void and it's nothing of the sort well part of me is wondering after this whole pandemic thing if they're you know the bachelor and bachelor in paradise is going to have as much hype as it did before because i i feel like they're losing yeah like a lot of hype yeah and a lot of excitement because no one was really excited for claire's season right that's her name claire like the older chick no who you know was like women were about ex- in her 40s yeah, yeah. but then they were excited at first well they were excited at first because they were like oh yeah she told fucking juan pablo yeah. off yeah woman power she's older and then Let's they start doing back. interviews with her realizing that she wanted young dudes and everyone's like this is gonna be a fucking joke we don't like you're really gonna he have twenty year olds on there, her. yeah. And then people already were not starting to like her or the whole concept of it. And then so I guess they decided to redo the whole casting for hers and get older guys because they noticed. But then they had to halt that. Well, and they had to filming, halt that. So well, it's like because there was such a negative connotation and like Peter kind of just ruined shit for the Bachelor for a bit, you know. So they had to do something so to make up for it. Yeah. And the only high and wave that people have been riding on, like 
even on the bachelor wave is Hannah Brown and Tyler C. Mm -hmm. And that kind of like dissipated because she went back home. Yeah. And they like don't. They're still fine. They're still fine. Yeah. But so you said there's drama around Hannah Brown right now. So she this literally was yesterday. But she um, she said the N word on Instagram live and followed it up with one of the more disappointing celebrity apology apologies in recent memory um she was singing a song she was singing a song and said the word that was in the song i don't know she if it wasn't it was, a hard r she did the i, I don't think I'm it was a hard it r was, either way it's still it's still um it's still something that you sing not on tv not on instagram like you yeah you know what I mean? If you're singing the song, I guess I feel uncomfortable saying it even. I don't, I don't personally say it in songs. I, I feel like with social media nowadays and everyone being so bored, though, too, they're looking they're grasping at straws yes. looking for anything that they can cause drama from. I watched a TikTok the other day and the, you know, this couple was singing a song and the guy didn't even know that he was being videotaped and he was this white boy. Yeah. And like they're singing that cop car song, cop car. Uh And I guess he didn't even say like, yeah, you know, because some people would be like, uh, huh, you know, yeah, he he did. He didn't. He didn't even do like, you know, a sound for it. Right. Everyone was commending him like, oh, my God. Yeah. He didn't even know he's being filmed and he still didn't even say it. Like, what a great guy. It just feels weird to say. Correct. And I don't know. People. Yeah. And if you say it, and if you say it behind closed doors, and if you're so, if you're used to hearing it, you're guess gonna what? say it's it gonna publicly. pop out. Yep. No, my, and my parents would always tell me this about curse words when we were younger. Listen, if you say it behind closed doors, and if you're saying it, and you, you know, secret in secret, and if you're around it all the time, eventually it's gonna come out. So that's why my parents always say, like, your thoughts and your your words, and you know, all those things will eventually come out of your mouth. Oh yeah. If you speak it and think it oh, enough. Yeah. So if you are racist. It right? will come out. It will it, all come to the surface. It will all come out, whether yeah, yeah, you're yeah. drunk, whether yeah. you're mad, whether whatever. I actually don't think she is. Oh, I don't think she racist. is racist. I think that she is, in fact. I think she sang a song. She's a little dum dum. Mm-hmm. You know, like I think she's just showing herself as a little dum dum. Where it's like, hey, girl, like we know you're not meaning anything by it, but in the world now, like we just don't even sing it. Like, we just don't even say it. We don't it's even almost say safer. it. Safer. Don't do we it. We don't even say N-word. No. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I feel, like, we say I mean. that word. I feel, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, because you don't want it, because you understand the connotation behind it and how negatively, yeah. like, it really affects people and the history of it. And the last thing you want to do is even remotely tie yourself to it, right? Yeah. And offend someone, because it's so much easier to not even say it. Then even bother and have to deal with possible ramifications because it's like, you know, it's really offensive yeah. to some. Yeah. Because of what people have been through. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, you know, it's just a thing that we all know, right? Yeah. It's just a thing that we all know. And if you don't respect that, then you're just going to get shit for it. You yeah. can do whatever you want, but you're going to get backlash. Well, you're going to get shit. You're going to get canceled. You're going to do all this shit. That's the thing is you have to be ready for to um, answer to for your actions in yeah. essence. So what she so. You said she said it in a song. She said it in the song, and then she like noticed that she said it, and was like, "Oh my god, no, you guys! I was just singing like you know we uh, we don't say that. We don't say that word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Like you guys, you know me. Blah blah blah. Whatever. So that was like the apology that people were pretty disappointed in. And you know Rachel Lindsay, Bachelor. She's like the she was the only black Bachelor. Oh yeah 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 yeah. And very she's like, like level headed, kind hearted. Yeah, she yeah. does. She did that thing at the end of last season. I saw that where she was talking about the hurtful the names. tweets and name calling and just like get just get your shit together kind yeah. of thing. So she's become this sort of ambassador for The Bachelor and in a, in a different way. Well, she speaks very eloquently. And she, yeah, she has a good so head on her she shoulders. sent out a message that was like Hannah Brown needs to apologize. Um, and asked asked her to issue an on camera apology, which Hannah did not do as of yet. I'm sure she may do it. I'm sure she's getting someone once to help there's, her. Yeah, and Tyler like reposted it and was like, "Listen to this." Rachel hit the nail on the head. Oh, Tyler C did. Mm-hmm. So, and then Mike as well. So he was the other uh, guy that was going to be the other 
the first like black bachelor. She was the first black bachelorette. He was gonna be the first, but he didn't. Right? No, remember? Yeah. Um. I mean, so they he was like, "Hey, Peter. we need to have a talk. Like, you need to, like, you need to issue a bigger apology than just sort of, oh, hey, blah, 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 like, I'm so sorry, you know." Tyler Cameron is jumping on it. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Do you feel like some of these people are jumping on it because they truly care? Or do you feel like some of them are jumping on it because they want to get their face in the, back into the limelight? I never know with these bachelor fucks. You know what I mean? They're all so fucking thirsty. I That's don't know. That's what I'm know. saying, like, though. You know like, what I mean? They're all so thirsty. Even Rachel. I'm sorry. But she will jump on I feel like so all ma- the time. They're all like clawing to get to the top of this bachelor like hamster wheel that everyone's in. And they all, you I know just what I'm hate, saying? I hate that many people taking this high ground because in the real scheme of things, in this world uh, that they especially are in, like um, you can get canceled. It, this, that it can happen to you. Well, look, if you I mean, say look something that right you now. don't, if you it, you could say something you don't realize that it's offending someone, and a whole fucking group of people can come after you, and, and you'll your be whole like, life bro. career's over. Yeah, so but that's what I'm saying. Look at Hannah Brown. She was one of the most loved bachelorettes yeah. like ever in history, and she said one thing, right? And so, like, this could completely destroy her entire reputation, who she is as a person. It's gonna hurt her. Yeah, for sure. She had a she had a kind of clean. Uh, image before and this is definitely going to hurt her but um i i personally like hate cancel culture i hate this like moral high ground thing yeah that um you know i think every one of us at one point has said or done something that if it got out or if it was put out for people to see we would all be canceled none of us are so none none of us us are are without fault right and this idea that like you're so perfect that you get to like just feels very condescending always of like hey you know you really messed up Mm -hmm. and i'm really good so i'm gonna tell you i'm more perfect than you and it's actually here's the thing you fuck up you need to learn from your mistakes. You need to fucking own it. You needed to apologize, right? Learn from that. Grow. Do not let it happen again. And that should kind of be the end of it. But if it, you know what I mean? But if it becomes a trend or a thing or it's just like really terrible personality trait and you're yeah. just a shit bag, then that's different. But it's like the one, you know? It's I like, just don't think other humans should be allowed i don't think humans should tell be allowed to tell other humans um that they're bad or wrong because it all comes back and even in the remember in the height of the cancel culture where like this she would have been gone correct back in the day maybe a year ago she yeah. would have been gone it would have been done we wouldn't ever hear from hannah again mm-hmm. and we're getting a little bit better about it but definitely back in the day it was just like well, because people were starting to realize the power of the internet and the power of the people and what they had, right? Yeah. And that these people... And could, how good it feels. How they can go ahead and take someone that had... Because they rose up because of all these people. And these people were like, listen, we got you here and we'll take you down in a fucking second. Yeah. And I feel like all these people, I don't want to make it sound terrible, who, you know, are just normal everyday people feeling special as if they have some type of power to go ahead and take this person and build them up into something great and say, listen, because we love you so much and we hyped you up, you were having all these endorsements and possibilities and like this life. But listen, if you do one thing to piss us off, we'll take it fucking away. Yeah. And I think they, you know, people really did enjoy that power. And also at the same time, they're bored as fuck and they have nothing else better to do than to go ahead and tear down these people and make their lives a living hell. Yeah. You know, and start like troll pages about them and mean pages about them, just everything else. It's like, God, really? Like, you're just going to attack them to the point to where, like, some of these people, I'm sure, have considered killing themselves yeah. because they're so miserable and they get so many death threats. Yeah. And fucked up that's messages. it's easier to just, like, have a brand that's like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. Come for me. Yeah. I've always been. You know what I mean? Like, I've been the same way. Like, um, Jeez. it's just the morality police. And, like, in this instance, it's like, no. 
you shouldn't have said it. No, you shouldn't have. Um, I think and you her apology, and she does need to answer for it. Her apology, as far as like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, like blah blah blah, like to me that's fine. It really kind of just like took the air out of it of like, oh my god, we don't say that. I'm so sorry, that was such a mistake, blah blah blah. Like that's what she was saying on her live. It's like, oh my god, blah, blah. like it was something like you did something. And you like apologize for it. And you're like, I'm so sorry. That was so bad. Yeah. Like, she knows it's bad. She realizes it right then. It's not like then. she doesn't understand. Yeah. It's not like she's like, mm, and what? It yeah. was just like, oh my God. Oh, I know this. I know. Da, 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 da. Deleted the live. Like she knew it wasn't good. But this idea that we need her to like die on this cross and make sure that like we all know that she really does know. It's like she knows. And believe I, me, she's never going to fucking do it again. Sure. So if that's not good enough for you, I'm I'm sorry. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, for me, like, as far as there is, there has been people that have said it that needed to apologize, like full on do like an apology. You heard it in a way that like you know they meant it. They were saying it to somebody. It was not okay, right? Yeah. Um, the NASCAR driver recently that was caught on a hot mic. So they were doing uh they. They were doing NASCAR where the guys were just playing video games. But they're real NASCAR drivers and they're playing video games. Yeah. And the mic was on and he didn't know he was on. He said the N-word, hard R, at somebody, about somebody. Oh, okay. And got canceled. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know why it's different, but it feels different. Yeah. Right. Well, because that came that was, that was that was coming from a very it hateful, demeaning too, place. Exactly. It was as an insult yeah. to someone else. Correct. Whereas Using this that. is like she hears the song. She's heard it a million times. She said the word. She shouldn't have said it in the song. It if, didn't come out of nowhere. If I were her, I personally would still come out right with a just sure not Why like not? a die on the cross apology, no, no. but be like, hey, listen, I did, I'm gonna make this official. This is not part of my character. This is not part of who I am. I was raised, you know, with Southern manners, yeah. like in this loving family. I respect everyone of all color, all shapes, yes. all sizes, all race, genders, whatever. Right. Kind of be put it like that. I am so sorry. I'm not giving myself an excuse. It was in a song. I should have not said it, but I did. And this like I am very apologetic. This is all. I will not say this anymore. I've learned. I can understand if you guys want to not like, you know, what I mean, that yeah. type of thing. Yeah, I would do that, but not. And then leave it at that. Yeah. And that's all you could do. That's all you could do. And hope. Yeah, I agree. She could do maybe one more. Like a kind of like a more official one without it being like so over the top. Just be like, hey, guys, this is what I did. Yeah. This is why I know it's wrong. This is why it fucked up. And I'm not going to do it again type of thing. Like it was it's like the four or five steps to an apology that my parents used to always tell us to do when we were younger. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. tell us what you're sorry for, why you're sorry for it. Tell us what you learned, how you're not going to do it again. Mm-hmm. And then you end with one more, like, I'm sorry. And, you know, it's, you would really sit there and how to explain it. Isn't that crazy, so, you though, know, that adults are asking other adults to do that? It is. No, it's stupid. Like, it's stupid <laughs> to be like, what are you sorry for? What did you learn? Like, But that's what I'm saying is that part of me feels like while – you know, I don't know what her her name is. Could be offended by that comment. At the same time, I also feel like this is her chance to rise up again and get like her mm-hmm. fucking ten seconds of fame. Yeah, to be like, yes, I care. She could care and talk to her personally and say, Hannah, like I love you, girl, and like I respect you, and I'm gonna be here for you. But at the same time, like I really think you need to issue an apology. You know yeah. what I mean? But instead, she had to do it publicly. All fucking big and <laughs> dramatized and take a stand. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, she has Hannah's number. Yeah. She has Hannah's number. She could have fucking texted. You know? Yeah. And like guaranteed. She could have been like, hey girl, just so you know, like, I know you're not bad, but like I'm not okay if, with this. Well, also for yourself, like, I would you know, yeah. Sh- I've been but, in this business for a while. Like, I would definitely just issue an apology and I'm you saying know. it's okay though for her also to not be okay with it, right? Yeah. And to voice that. But a lot for of times, sure. sometimes it's just like, couldn't you just tell this to the person instead of having to do it publicly and try to slam her and trying to get like clout from it and, you know, make people, I don't know. Some people might disagree with that. But at the same time, like, I get there's a point of standing up, but like that, that NASCAR guy all day long. Like, if I, you know, I knew him, be like, dude. But then also people ask me about it, I've been like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Right? 
But at the same time, I don't know. I think it depends on the situation. It depends on the situation. Depends on the person. Depends on. There's all different kinds of factors. I mean, no, you absolutely, as a white person, can't say the word. Mm-mm. Nope. I and agree. if you slip saying it in a song, just apologize. Or anywhere else. Anywhere else. I mean, it'd be crazy if you were saying it not in a song. I know. I mean, to me, that's like, how does that even happen? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't even, even I don't even listen to, to songs, happens. though, that really have it. No. I think about it as much. And I don't right? really hear it. I don't even know. Um, I'm surprised, though. Like, so, well, so Hannah's not doing good. Tyler's still in this Bachelor fucking world. And he, I remember he was on, like, Entertainment Tonight or something. Or, like, some entertainment show where they were talking about how they were very shocked and surprised for him being just literally a contestant uh-huh. and for him being as popular as he is like being interviewed being sought out asked for opinions on things like even talked about with Gigi Hadid and he hasn't even been a bachelor yeah well he's super hot yes hard to look at insane that someone can look like that he should never wear a shirt for the rest of his life for the rest of his life yeah tall hot stylish mm-hmm. and then on top of that just kind of a really great guy mm-hmm. that like works with underprivileged kids mm-hmm. like everything he does is all like charity and he did this before he even went on the bachelor yes this is not a thing that all of a sudden he left the bachelorette and he was like okay i'm gonna become a good person and do this for show this is the type of person he was from the, from the get-go yeah doesn't kiss and tell mm-hmm is very for someone that's so close to the vest on all the drama that people want Mm -hmm. he's still so sought after to talk to but he will not talk about anything Mm -hmm. like Gigi Hadid he's like yeah I sent her a message like I'm really happy for her she's gonna be the best mom yeah hope the best for her yeah Hannah and I are friends it's cool we're just hanging out like I mean that's why I think I'm a little bit surprised that he did say something in regards to yeah I second this Hannah needs to apologize it's interesting it doesn't seem like he does that kind of stuff he seems just kind of chill and uh seems like the kind of person that will see both sides I see both sides don't you see him saying that all the time I see both sides of it I can see him <laughs> saying like I can really see him saying a little his- bit but like hey like I know Hannah and she would never mean to do that but yeah, yeah she does I'm sure she, her, she probably she needs to apologize maybe a little bit better or- I would be so pissed if someone I dated put something out me too. there and not texted me personally same I would be like Bro, what the fuck? Like, like you're going to jump on a fucking train calm now down. against me? Yeah. Like, you didn't have to do that. You could have fucking texted me. I know. Talk to me first. Like, anything. But that's what I'm saying is so many people, I feel like, want to get their name out there and be like, look, I'm a good person, too. I don't agree with this. You cannot. I'm on her side because now it's sides. Instead of some, and this makes some me little look better to dumb. all these people. Like, listen, you can still professionally and respectfully go to her and say, like, hey. And later on, she might even be like, yeah, actually, like, Tyler reached out to me and told me that like, he's there for me, but at the same time, he didn't agree with it. And, I, you know, I know he doesn't. Like, she could have even said these things. Right. But I don't feel like people were doing it for that. They were doing it for the wrong reasons. Does that make sense? Yeah. It seems that way. It seems that way. But what did we expect? She's from Alabama. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> I have really good friends from Alabama that listen, and they're going to think that's funny. <laughs> Roll Tide. Um, Roll Tide. I, we got uh, asked by a listener, what, we th- what do we think about Peter and Kelly? And this is all I'm going to say about this. I don't give a fuck anymore about Peter. I don't want to hear about Peter. Nope. Peter drives me fucking insane. Peter's done. Like, the biggest douche canoe in the world. Uh, I don't really care about him and Kelly. It's old news. And by the way, I cannot stand Peter on TikTok. He has zero, like beat and rhythm in his life he needs to stop dancing and doing this weird wing thing with his hand as if he's flying a plane Ugh. it's the corniest shit ever um and it makes me think to you know you hear that guys who can dance are like good in bed right because the way they can like move and sure. their hips and stuff sure but then i think of like him and hannah fucking in the windmill four times and then his like moves on the dance floor and i'm like that'd be the I most don't awkward even understand how that worked me neither now me neither like what 
That's why I honestly think it could have been like one pump chomp, like, oh, one, uh-huh. you and know? And then he just really like. And then like. Ugh. Figured it out. And then sex again. Like, yeah. Yeah. Maybe he had to build up where finally that fourth time was actually good. Right. Or maybe they, it was like two and then two in the morning or something. Probably. Well, I, I guarantee it was one of those things where four. she was like, hey, listen, I know we had sex four times and it was all really shitty, but we're going to tell the whole world that it was awesome. It was awesome. Who knows? Or maybe she didn't really know what was awesome at that point. Because she hadn't had sex with Tyler yet. <laughs> so she was like, ooh, this is awesome. Because like she had just never she really. Up there. Do you know what I mean? She you don't up. know what good sex is until you have, have good, good sex. sex. Right? Because then you're just like, oh. I can remember the first time I was just like, this is sex. Sex? Great. Super oh, they were excited oh, about yeah. this. Oh. Like, <laughs> this is going to be awful for the rest of my life. <laughs> Is this what people are talking about? I definitely that thought that too. I was like, oh God, I hate oh, sex. I hate sex. And now then I'm going to have to do it. Later on, I was like, oh, I really oh, like sex a lot. Oh, got it. Yeah, exactly. And then I went back to like, oh, I hate sex with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then you can pick and, and then, choose yeah. of people. But before that, you're just like, I guess this is good. But I this, don't know. Hannah, have had, had, Hannah has had yes. sex. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I'm sure with quite a few people. Not saying that she's, you know what I mean, but at least she's probably at least had five. Yeah, I think she Maybe ten. said, yeah, it wasn't a lot, but she definitely like had relationships. Yeah. So, yeah. She, which, by the way, they call that bodies now. What's your body count? Body count. <laughs> Eesh. You know what I mean? I get it. Do you know yours? No. I don't either. <laughs> Does, has Ross ever asked you? No. Oh, he hasn't. We haven't done that. I've had boyfriends before that did. And Ask. I was just like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm not telling you. Same. I've had the because same conversation where I'm like, why do you want to know? I don't even want to know what yours is. Yeah. Whether it's a lot or a little, you're going to feel a certain way about either one. Right. So if there's a little, you're like, oh, if there's a lot, you're, you're like, like, oh, there's no right number that makes people feel like, OK, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? It'll always be like. I had, um, my dad gave me a laptop for college and I used it. I like brought it with me when I went into the military and when I was drinking and like kind of getting involved more with like guys, I, because I didn't really have many boyfriends at the time. I start keeping like a spreadsheet as weird as this sounds, guys. not even of like guys that I had sex with, but I would write down, you know, like Matt and be like bad kisser. You know what oh I mean? Gosh. Like made out or something like just to keep track. Because there were some times I would drink and be like, oh, yeah, yeah. What did I do? Have you seen that or, list recently? Um, so my dad asked for the because I my ex-husband got me a MacBook or right. whatever. So my dad was like, I'll take this computer. It, like still works is really good. And I like deleted everything off of it. Yeah. I thought I'm pretty Sure, my dad later on made a comment to me like, yeah, so there was a list of the guys' names on it. I immediately deleted it. And I was like, who? Because it wasn't. What? It was kind of detailed a little bit. You know what I mean? Like penis oh size. Yeah, just to like remember and to sure. kind of, I don't want to say like a tech, you know, because it wasn't like something I was proud of. It was mainly something to be like, I want to know who I did with what. Right. Like I, I want to know this. Right. Including when I'm drinking. Right. Because when I was younger, there'd be so many times where I would black out. Okay. Or brown out. Sure. Right. And mm-hmm. I would have like very faint memories. Yeah. And be like, I don't like that. I want to remember if I was intimate with someone. Right. Because I grew up in a family where it was very important. To, yeah. You know, you well, first you weren't supposed to have it before you were married. Right. So these people, I was like, I've always liked them. So for me, I wanted to be like, okay, well, like, what did I do? <laughs> and I'm not was, sure. Someone was like, kiss, like, uh-huh. great makeout mm-hmm. session or whatever, mm-hmm. you know? And don't fucking judge. You're always getting on your high horse and judge, looking up fucking porn and shit. I'm not always getting on my high mm. horse and judging. So it was one of those things where I was just like, this is what I'll do. It's weird, though. That's all I'm going to say. It's weird. It's judging. It's not judging. It's just weird. It's not something everybody does. I'm not judging you. It's weird. <laughs> I don't do it. I don't know anyone else who does it, but it's like well, interesting. It's, it's, it's like I'm I trying did. to figure out what. Like, <laughs> again, I tried to you. figure I out. I grew yeah. up where it was like one of those things where these things were important. And if 
you know, it was it was not something that you was willy nilly. At least where I grew up, you just yeah. kind of just did. Yeah, you know, I'm not just making out with everyone. And this few times, if I did kiss a few guys a night, I was like, oh man, I kind of feel like kind of like this wasn't in my DNA, but I was having fun. Right. So then I would put like John, good kisser, and like you know, like whatever. And then how long was Dave, the list? It wasn't really even that long, honestly. Okay. But um, I did keep it. Like I kept it for like two years because I wanted to know. Like I did try, try to keep track There's of the body There's probably going to be ish. people that that uh, message and are like, I have a list. It was more so like the body count number, but even just with like kissing. Do you know what I'm saying? I just feel like I didn't. I didn't want to look back at that and be like, oh. You know I guess I mean? that's my thing is I wanted to try to hold myself accountable for mm. a little bit because part of me felt I think like my in college book would be too big. That me okay. And, so, I'd and be that like, was another thing oh, why shit. too because that was like me trying to hold myself accountable. Like, look, this is how many. Look, calm yourself down. You just started at this age. Get yourself in check. You took a break when you went into the military for about two years, but still, and then you came back to this. Like, let's just fucking look. I think it was. I think, I think it was, there's some I want to forget. Don't Do get you know me wrong. I mean? It is probably a little strange, but I think it was my way of holding me accountable based upon what I grew up with. I think there's people that write that have a number, or they. I've seen and I in think, movies or whatever where they do like a check. I couldn't remember sometimes thing. guys I even made out with. Does that mean? And to me, I thought that was a little strange because I was like. If you had to sit there and be like, how many guys have you been with? And part of me is like, I don't know. Then it made me feel fucking weird. Oh, I don't know. So then I kept, well, I did. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Even right now, if I had to like count everyone out, I would forget. I'll have like flashes sometimes. That's what I'm saying. And so I think that's why part of me was like, maybe I want to try to remember. I just don't. As weird as it is. I think that's the difference. And I think my, I honestly think my dad did see. I don't know. But if it's like, oh, kiss. Oh, big dick yeah you know my dad doesn't oh, want to see me no. saying stuff that i like went down on this guy he wrote that stuff yeah right he sucked his dick because yeah. <laughs> i wanted to know what like do you know what Mike i'm saying sucked his dick yeah no so again and here's the thing too like that's considered oral sex so that's not really sex right so, so you're be, like okay that wouldn't be in the number number right that wouldn't so i'm good so wait would that be in a body count though I don't know the body count. I'd say sex would be in your number. So it has to be like fucking penetration to be in the number. I think. Right? So that's what I'm saying. It's like young Tiffany, still fucking noodle all this. Didn't really have many girlfriends I can just like talk to. Besides like my best friend in college. You know what I mean? But I had like a couple high school girlfriends that were, had sex with their husband and that was it. So this yeah. was like stuff I could not talk to them about because it was very like Tiffany and I felt judged. So yeah. then there was my girlfriend from high school, I mean, from college, that <laughs> she was like, oh, bitch, well, this is longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I was like, OK, good. We can talk about these things. But beyond that, like, part of me was like, do I, is this a body count number? OK. No, I don't think, I mean, if you were to ask, like, my number, A, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Um, B, there's a bunch of people that I don't remember and I just want to keep it that way, I think. I, and I think that's why I kept, that's why I kept it up for a bit. And then later on I was like, I think, I don't want to even, I think that's alcohol and, and God's way of being like, "Mm, you just needed to. And that's the thing. Young. And also not remembering kind of makes you be like, oh, and that keeps me in check of like, dude, if I have, if I had someone I didn't remember. I know. Anything. That's scary. Well, that's, and I would be like, no, no, no. So that was the, that was the thing, too, is I'm like young 20, right? Like young 20, barely have like tested out alcohol much before. Yeah. And would go hard with the guys. Yeah, but we all. I know. Didn't and, and yeah, no, we did. OK. Like, you know, you kept up. You went hard with the guys. And then all of a sudden the next morning, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, and then you hear from like one of your guy friends like, oh, you were totally like tongue down his throat. And I'm like, tongue down throat. You know, throat of Bobby Brown. According to according to Mike Jason, who told me <laughs> in the morning. Um, but do you know what I mean, though? And then I was like, okay, hold yourself fucking count- accountable. But I'm trying a to bit. think if I would want that <laughs> list right now, right? Oh, like oh. if I found, I'm trying to think of like you made that list. There's a lot of people that have I made the list, like in the journal or whatever. I'm sure they didn't do it for a long time, but for oh, a little. Yeah. I'm trying to think now if I would want to see that list. Or if I just don't want to see it and I would, keep it. I would want to see it right now just to laugh at it. I would want to would laugh, you laugh at it. I, oh, my God. I would laugh. Wouldn't there be any that you're like, oh, God. 
Yeah. But I would laugh still, be like, what the fuck was wrong with me? Or I would be like, oh my God, I completely forgot about that one. Yeah. There'd be a lot. It'd be a lot of that. <laughs> It'd be a lot of, oh, I completely but forgot. But do you about see what I mean? One. And I think that's where the guilt, I think it was a, I think it was based upon my background, the way I grew up, and some of the guilt that I had surrounding it. I honestly think that's what it was. That sounds because right. Because I was made to feel bad about being intimate with anyone that was not my husband. And I think when I was drunk, I didn't care because I was like, I, I'm a human being. I want to feel things. I felt something and I acted on it. Right. Yeah. And I was still, for the most part, responsible. Yeah. Um, besides the drinking part. And then the next morning it would be like you sober, I would sober up and become and feel this overwhelm, this overwhelming feeling of guilt. Yeah. That's and then, normal. And then purposely like made the list to be like, hey. Stop being, you know, I don't know if it was like to remember or to stop being stupid or to be like, hey, you're, you're, the list is getting a little bit longer, girlfriend. Right. But later on, I had to realize to stop, yeah. you know, just as long as you're safe and being careful and like not doing anything stupid. Yeah. You're fucking 21, 22 years old. Yeah. I think your mind blocks out stuff for your own good sometimes and it and yeah and it kind of just to be like you don't need to remember that you're not that person anymore yeah so you can just literally block that out like literally cut it out of your brain because like you're not that person you don't really remember it you aren't bad you know I, what i mean i think that's the thing i felt so that's how i feel in some ways so that was like it but no that stopped like i'm trying to think what year they even stopped 2010 your dad finding it <laughs> my dad's no listen that's why i don't write some stuff down that's the thing it's oh like, yeah that's the other lesson is like i'll tell you this my dad has found writing out it a down lot about me over the years and he's not surprised he's just does he listen anymore by the way i don't know i'd he, have to ask or did he kind of realize that was not the he's best always, thing and do. i will give him this like he's always loved me he's always accepted for who i am yeah as much as i feel like sometimes they did to try to put me in a box a little bit when I was younger. It was more so my mom yeah. a little bit more. My dad's always been like, that's Tiffany. Yeah. You know, like she's fucking nuts and crazy and likes to have fun. And like she got drunk and mooned us. Hey, her family. Are we so surprised she has a list of guys? Yeah. Like really? You know? That she kissed. But I think the thing is too <laughs> is I was the good one, right? Who they didn't think did this. Whereas my, oh. my middle sister was the one who was going out fucking everyone they thought. By the way, like beware of the good one, right? Because you're not watching them as closely because you're just like, they're Well, fine. at the time, they weren't concerned as much about sex. Yeah. Because I had them convinced. They don't have to worry about it. My dad was like, the list. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, list. my God. <laughs> so that's probably the only I regret. I found a list of guys' names, and I just deleted it immediately. Dad, you know you saw a couple things on there. It's okay. We don't have to have the conversation, but yeah, you maybe saw a big dick. <laughs> and then deleted it. Like, freaked out and deleted. Because you don't like... Right. You know, your dad didn't just see one guy's name I and know. delete it. <laughs> but precious for him to be like, I just saw the names and I just deleted it. He's like, there's it. this weird spreadsheet with a bunch of guys' names uh, and I deleted it. And I was didn't like, didn't look at anything more. I, <laughs> I said, how did I have that safe somewhere that I forgot? You know, that's why I feel like you, if you have a device, whether it's a phone, whether it's a computer, whether it's, I don't give a fuck what it is. Like, I feel like I would have to delete it all and go to the geek squad and make sure, like, clear this entire thing. And by the way, don't look at shit. Yeah. And probably go to, like, five different other people and make sure it's cleared before I even sell it, which I don't think I would sell it. I just keep it. Yeah. That's why I call people sometimes. What do you mean? I just don't like this. Um, just the thing that, like, everything is in writing everywhere. Like, there's a paper trail for everything we've ever said like mm, you since mean, oh, text texting? started or dms or whatever where like people aren't calling and it's just a fucking scary thing because you're just like Whoa. well because you know why now everyone goes i got receipts yeah so it's like that is scary if you have something that you want to talk about with someone and you like you know just call that's just why a lot of times I, I well personally i rather just call on the phone too because then you're not taking shit out of context you can get the point across right away it's just two adults talking and there's no like it's too that's how a, humans were made to like interact is like you have conversations um there are some things that you know get worked out and you don't want to be able to look back 
at the whole conversation and be like, oh, well, Correct. but remember when they said that? Like, no, we already no. got to the end yeah. of it. We're already fine. We have, we're fine, right? But you don't want to be like, oh, but then I see right here. Remember when you said that? Yeah. Really hurt me. It's like, dude, no. We're not like meant to work like that, right? We're Correct. like everything just gets. So look back and like literally have transcripts of every. Can you imagine? I can imagine because people fucking do it and they have it. I guess that's the only good thing about Instagram right now, honestly, is that like now in the messaging, in the DMs, you yeah. can delete stuff that you sent before. Did you know delete that? Delete stuff that you sent, but what the people that you send so, it to. So like, let's say KGB no. for example. In so the DMs, she, in the, in the, the so she Instagram can, DMs, if you guys go back to messages, right, you hold down on a message that you sent. And you can literally click unsend and it is disappears permanently. Yeah. Unless they took screenshots yes. of it, then you know what I mean? You know they're always taking screenshots. Yeah. If you want real receipts, you have to take screenshots. What a life. What a what shitty a life. life to live. What Let's a just life. be real. You have a conversation with someone and you immediately take screenshots of it because you're afraid that they're going to use something against you and you can't trust anyone or you're going to use it later on or on you're going to try and get something like how sad must you be and how many times unfortunately have you been fucked over i guess that you always want to have some kind of fucking bargaining chip like i will say this there was only the only times that i've ever taken like screenshots of stuff or had to concern myself with that is when i've worked with people like business stuff again yeah, yeah, yeah. that like things were going great and then it seems like it took a turn for the worse and went south yeah and then that's when i was like i don't know if i can trust them anymore because they just like try to screw me over right now and then you kind of go back and start going ch- 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 just in case just in case i think the moral of this a- whole show <laughs> is to have contracts even that fucking spreadsheet holds people accountable <laughs> including you but also the guys right you never know True. If you were fucking blacked out sometime, whatever. Well, if somebody tried to say something and you were like, no, dude, like we just kissed or no, dude, whatever. I don't know. Well, that was another kind of thing, too. Part of it, a little bit, was to be, there was guys talking shit. It wasn't like I would ever show it. Oh, but yeah. You know it. Yeah. Here's the thing I'll say about that, too. Because I used to, and I kind of wish I did this back in the day. When the guy ever wants to talk shit, and say that he slept with you mm. when he never did. I like Fucking that. run with it, man. I'm telling you right now because here's the thing. People are going to believe what they want to. And back in the day, right, there was be like, oh, Tiffany there, Tiffany there, Tiffany that. And part of me was like, dude, I haven't even fucked anyone in years. Like, are you yeah. kidding? Like, and you think I fucked like five people in one week? Yeah. Like, part of me is like, I wish. Yeah. And so you can deny, deny, deny all day long. People are going to believe what they want. Yeah. Right? So part of you said, me of wishes that back in the day would have been like, yeah, I did fuck Jason. And he has the smallest dick yeah, in the world. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't get me off for the fucking life of it. Yeah, he had yeah. the hardest time even trying to get hard yeah. and just fucking go in on it. Yeah. Because if the guy wants to fucking lie about it and then put his he... neck out on the line and make you look like a slut. Yeah, exactly. Then why don't you make him, like, two can play this game, motherfucker. Yeah. Because guess what? People are going to believe it anyway. Good luck fucking denying that shit. People are going to believe it. I can get hard. Right? Nuh-uh. It's big. Oh, really? You had sex with me? <laughs> okay, well, everyone's going to know what the fuck it was like then. Yeah. And then immediately he might be like, crawfishing out of it and be like, uh, no, we actually didn't. I, I said that to... Oh, we well, just like made out and like did a bunch of other stuff. But You know what I mean? And you're like, I have you on my spreadsheet, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> And we didn't have sex because you could fucking get it up. Hope there's not a real Jason in your life, by the way. We have been using his name a lot. Have we? We've said Jason for the hypothetical people. Jason and Mike. So I hope I don't think those was... aren't real people. No. <laughs> or if they are, I hope they're assholes. There was a Mike in like elementary school. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mike. Sorry, Mike. Mike Zaff. He was like one of my first crushes, but we never had that never happened. Unless there is. A, yeah. Unless it sounds like there's a Jason that um, is yeah. an asshole. Mostly I know because Jason Jasons are usually assholes. Are they? Sorry, guys. There's certain names that you go. Mm hmm. Um, there's a thing that's four lettered names. Guys names. That they're assholes. All guys who have four letters in their names are assholes. Ross has four. Um. Is it four or five? It's either four or five. Chris? Chris has five. Hmm. I forget what it is, but there's a thing going on on TikTok 
I was like, I'm why trying is, to think of one other name though. I know. Why does every guy that has a four letter? I know. I'm like, what? Jake. Jake. Yeah. Do you know any Jakes? Yep. Mike is four. Mm. There you go. Um, I think I feel like five though too. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you feel like five too. You're thinking of a, a lot of five name dicks. Yeah. Look. Matt's a douche. At most of the mats I've ever known are, uh, uh half are douches is half an out. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's the same thing with girls. Remember you sent me that list that's like all the girls' names on here who are that, all alcoholics um, that have a problem with alcohol. And Tara and Tiffany were right next to each other. Yes. <laughs> I was like, you guys made the list. list. We're meant to I make. only didn't make the list. Jessica, I think, did. I only didn't make the list because I don't have a girl name, but I would have definitely been on there. <laughs> I think Jessica was on there, which is like. The way my name was supposed to be if it was yeah. a girl. Um, yeah. So I think the moral of this show is get your contracts. Dude. Not receipts. Get contracts so that you don't have to get receipts. receipts. So that you don't have to live your life making sure that you have some fucking. Receipts still aren't bad, though. Bargaining chip. It is if you don't have a contract. Because otherwise, they can do everything they want to do. Yeah, but some contracts are shitty. Well, you need to make sure you have a good one. You know what you I mean? Make sure you have a lawyer that looks over it, that has yeah, your yeah. best, absolute best interest, and knows what so the that's fuck the thing, they're guys, doing. Is with contracts, like make sure you're reading over every single thing, and you have a lawyer. Look and over you have it. a lawyer legit look over it. And if you don't have a lawyer, buddy, get like legit hire someone to do it. Because I'll tell you this: there's been a few companies that I worked for, and like after I had left, I like went to my lawyer like best friend and said hey man look over his contract really quick and he laughed and scoffed at it and said who the fuck wrote this and i was like the company and he yells well yeah of he's course. like you know and he's like i gotta be honest he's like this isn't this does not protect you nor does it even protect the company he's like this will never hold up in court there's so many like loopholes like not loopholes but there's so many just like empty spaces to it and nothing's detailed that literally yeah. it doesn't protect anyone yeah so i'm like okay cool yeah. So it just, you know, it's that sucks. So there's like, I have at least in my phone one entire album full of receipts on a company. Because you have to, just in case. Yeah. You know? Definitely. And as of right now, it could be being used later on. We don't know. It could be what? I've contacted this company. Yeah. And told them to stop using my pictures to promote their products yeah. because I no longer with them. I haven't been with them for the longest time, like a cease and desist. Yeah. And they promised that they would. And I come to find out again that I'm on like legit emails um, that go out to people who bought like who trying to buy their products. But it's like the recovery cart email. I'm on the recovery cart emails email standing like a fucking superhero <laughs> being like do you forget something yeah and the owners promised me that they would take me off of all the stuff like months ago and they didn't and apparently they, they didn't double check and i talked to dan about it too because i was like you know dan's really good in marketing and all yeah, that yeah, stuff yeah. and i was like hey should i be upset about this that they're like they have me in videos and they're using me in their products and stuff still when I obviously don't endorse them at all. And I don't yeah. even like their company. And by the way, I have my own now. Yeah, yeah. He's like, that's completely fucked up. He's like, you need to get on that right away. Yeah. And so here I am again being shown on it. And I'm kind of like, dude, you got to like, listen, I've been really silent about your company. I have a lot that I can say on it. Yeah. I have a lot that I should have said on it because like there was a lot of things that you guys did that I didn't agree with that are really fucked up in the way you guys treated me. And I've stayed silent. But, like, if you're going to keep using me to endorse your products, something's going to be said. Well, you're going to need to pay me. Well, that right? too. Well, you're going to have to, like, talk to me about it. You, you know can't just, mean? like, use people, right? That's what I mean. That's I the don't thing. know. But then also, you might use, like, well, it's our intellectual property. But, like, but really? Yeah, I don't if, know how that works. If you're going to keep using someone, though, as, you know... It's just like a fucking respect thing, like a professionalism thing. Yeah, if someone doesn't work for you anymore, isn't like blah, 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 like. Why you would you want someone off, to, yeah. You, just take them off you have the a thing. million other people out there who like work literally for you, work that for are you be, or yeah. that give you pictures and you have to use stuff with me in it. Yeah. Still, when I've been away for like. people will search and then you're there. Mm-hmm. 
some people still think I'm part of the company because of stuff like that. And yeah. I'm like, no. But I also didn't make it like huge public knowledge. That I left. I made one little post, you know. Yeah. But it's getting to the point where it's like, this is really unprofessional. Yeah. And it's honestly, it's not surprising because they've been very unprofessional with me in the past. Yeah. So it's kind of like, and that's the only, that's the only hard part about all of it is kind of like, well, I'm glad the contract sucks, but at the same time, I'm glad it not, like it sucks that it didn't stick. Yeah. Yeah. Because you would be when tied I, to it. Because when I left, they sure did a lot of stuff that was kind of against the contract. It was kind of like, well, yeah. But then I can go against it, I guess now. Yeah. I mean, for them. There's no, it, nothing will hold up. Yeah. It's when both people do stuff, you're kind of like, well, this isn't going to go anywhere in court. So you just like, don't do it. Sort of like with the bar stool. It's like they're in breach. They try and sue him, whatever. At yeah. this point, it's like, I don't even know why you would try and sue Barstool, but. Right. He just has way too much money. What's the thing? He has way too much power. He has way too much. I mean, that daddy speaks is like number one. Yeah. And it probably will be for a long time. Um, Do you have a drinking bro at? I do, madam. Um, This one is from Brittany Aaron White. She had submitted two. And so we're getting to her second one. Okay. She has. Um, and, I, and I love this. She also wanted to nominate her bonus mom. Oh, and I, I nice. give a, a massive shout out to extra bonus moms I out like there. That. Her bonus mom's named Candy. Um, Candy is also a corrections nurse at a prison. So remember oh my her gosh. mom's was a corrections nurse at a yeah. prison? So my mom and her have been some of the closest of friends since working together. That's and nice. I love that. Love this to see that. Past December, she lost her oldest son in a car accident. She's gone through, you know, some unimaginable things. I want to nominate her because she's just an amazing woman. She is, always has my back and is always super encouraging. She's so strong for her other children. She puts everyone above herself, and I think that's very, you know, admirable. She will never give up on you or anyone for that matter. And she shows kindness to everyone. I think she's one of the best uh, bonus moms ever. So I think that's incredible. I like that. And the fact that they have a great relationship together, I think that's great. Yeah. You know, like you you can't ask for anything better than that. It's really the most mature and best way to do that. It is. I know it's hard sometimes, but Mm -hmm. if you could really just. You got to put, listen, you got to think of the kid and put your differences aside. Like that's really all you got to do. Bitterness. It's so much better for the kid if you guys are friends or act like friends or civil or pretend whatever you need to do it is the best thing that you can do for the more kids. love and parents and love and parents that the kid has in their life the better and the more people that they see that can get along correct um when they see constantly people not getting along or fighting or fucking with each other like that's what they're gonna think the world is and that's Mm -hmm. what they're going to grow up doing that's what they're gonna be they're just gonna be keeping receipts all the time because they're gonna think everybody's trying to (laughs) fuck them over (laughs) right there you go that's a terrible way terrible way to live terrible way to live i know like not everybody's trying to fuck you over i know just make sure like i said you have contracts but don't always be you don't always have to be on the defensive or always thinking that everybody is out to get you. Just get contracts in place because humans are humans, whatever. But yeah. ugh, how no. stressful is that? Oh, I hate it like, going back through text messages threads and going screenshot and like, well, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Well, that was fucked up. But part of me was like, just in case, at least I'll have evidence. Yeah. Instead of he said, she said type of situation. It's like, well, <laughs> this is actually what you yeah. said. Or whoever has the most power and whoever is the shittiest is going to win. Like, well, that sucks. And that's the thing, too. Like, who has the most money? That's not always the case. Who's a clear winner? Just because yeah. someone has more money doesn't mean that they're the winner. <laughs> if this lady, get, if these caller daddy girls had done this in a different way, they could have been heroes. Absolutely. Because the big fucking daddy was trying to oppress them, blah, 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 and they got out of their contracts. Like, they could have fucking... They could have really come out on top. But let's be but real. Do you think they're smart enough to have no. out done they're little Dave? They're fucking idiots. You know what I mean? Oh, let's end one little thing on a good note. Post Malone wine. Oh, that's right. Maison. So. Number nine. Oh, that's what it's called? Yeah. So many of you guys hit us up in DMs 
I loved it and tagged us in the post with Post Malone. Yeah, we're so, trying. I know. They're we're like, texting. You should get. Well, yeah. first of all, we do need a wine sponsor. The fact that we don't have one. <laughs> Hello. Is a little bit tragic, but. <laughs> right. Because I really just got to keep paying for this I stuff. Know. And it's an everyday thing. <laughs> and we love wine. It's an everyday thing. I but, would love to get a free couple. Yeah. So far, I've only seen he's coming out with rosé. Rosé. Rosé is the easiest one to do. I can say that. It's a good blend. And it's easier to start with. But I think he is going to. I would to. hope if you're going to expand. But it is a French wine, right? Which mm-hmm. like. um, Yeah. I think he'll probably, red is going to be a lot harder, but starting out with the rosé, yeah. and it's like an easier drink. That's a big, that's what the Jewish guy did, the big Jewish, whatever they call him. Oh, yeah, he started out with the rosé, yeah. It's White girl rosé. Yeah. Which, you know, so, but good on him. So post if you want to <laughs> send a few to your girls. Hey. Just, I'll buy it. <laughs> Even though I don't like yeah, rosé, we'll I'll buy it. buy it. We'll just buy it and be like, he sent us some. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, he sent it to the store and we bought Receipts. it. Receipts. We, we deleted ha- them, though. And now we have it, but. <laughs> He, he definitely sent it to us. Yeah, for sure. We bought it and now we have it. Yeah. And we've paid full price and now we have it <laughs> in our mouth. Anyways, um, we will see you guys soon. Yes, hold on. We're going to end on this note. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's deleted now. What? Was it a receipt? His song from Barstool President. Whatever that song oh, was of him. Oh, raise me up, up so I can turn on my own. You raise me up. Nailed it as usual. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show Better things to do, yeah Go buy some fucking shoes, yeah You're irritating Irritating You're